Hey guys, by now our 10 words a day challenge has been changed into, in fact transformed into more than 10 words a day challenge. So today we have 14 words to learn. So without wasting any much time, let's get it started. First word is Zaini, someone whose behavior is unusual. I found it hard to stand his zany humor. Second, zap, kill or badly hit someone with something. Example, he was zapped by an unknown person. Third, wait a minute. You can also say zap TV channels, which doesn't mean killing TV, TV channels. It means you change channels repeatedly using your remote control. So why zap all channels when you know the connection is missing? Third, zealot, orang fanatic, so a fanatic person. A person whose religious, political or other beliefs are so strong and extreme that you disapprove of them. So its synonyms are extremist and fanatic. Fourth, zealous. So jealous and zealous are different words. So zealous is showing zeal. Now what is zeal? Zeal is great enthusiasm towards what you do. So like zeal for studying, zeal for learning. Example, he was among the most zealous workers in the organization. It means most hardworking. So synonyms are passionate, devoted. Fifth, zeitgeist. Like, it's a nice sounding word. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. Attitudes and ideas of a particular period in history at a particular time, at a particular place. So the documentaries are about the city's history and zeitgeist of the life in 1970s. The film aims to capture the zeitgeist of the late 1940s. Sixth, zenith on the top time when something is most successful or powerful. Synonyms pinnacle, top. Example, he is at the zenith of his career. So in American English, we say zenith, while in British English, it is zenith. Seventh, zest, which is samangat, spirit, showing feeling of great energy and enthusiasm. Add zest to your life. Eight, Zilt, nothing. The company's brand value now worth zilt. Ninth, Zener, an amusing or impressive remark. Listening, um, you know, example sounds like a good Zener. He replied after listening to the query. Tenth, Zither, a musical instrument, consists of a wooden box with a Strings spread on it, stretched over it, and it is used in Central European folk music. Eleventh, zucchini, also called courgette, which is a vegetable, timun Japan, a type of vegetable which is type of vegetable with a dark green skin. So twelfth, zygote. A fertilized ovum, an egg that has been fertilized by sperm and can develop into an embryo. So it's a technical scientific term. Thirteenth, Zulu, a language spoken by South Africans. Zulu also, Zulu is also one of the languages he can speak. Zulu, Africans. So, fourteenth is songed out, which is exhausted, completely tired, worn out. Example, as soon as we got home, we hit the bed completely zoned out. So that was it for today, only 15 words and in last video I told you that we are going to increase the daily doses but right now 14 I think are enough because we have to make sentences with them. So just think like these are all exercises for you which you need to do by yourself, make your own sentences and try to use them in real life situations. So today we cover almost all the hard words which are starting from letter Z. So check out your dictionary on the alphabet 
that to see if you can find any other meaning which you don't know because sad has basically very few meanings and all the hard ones we have already covered so it's you can say that you have mastered all the entries in the Z list so now we are free of one English alphabet English has only like 26 alphabet now we have only 25 to our to you know our focus to maintain our focus at now I think we can also do something like uh, cover alphabets which has which have less number of meanings so that we will feel relaxed and you know a sense of something like we have accomplished something but anyways that was it for today's video in the next video we are going to cover some more meanings like I have said the daily zero doses has been increased 14 now let's see how much how many numbers of meanings we do in the next video so until then as usual as I always say Sampai jumpa and yeah I tell you to say it in another tongue like in French you say au revoir in Japanese you say what sayonara so sayonara for now season game presto we'll meet soon